if you know Peter Daniels, if you've ever been in a room with him, you know, or heard him talk, then you need no explanation. But if you haven't, if he's just a name to you, you think, well, that sounds interesting. I want to go hear what this guy's got to say. I understand that. But let me help you understand something a little deeper. Peter Daniels hasn't owed anybody anything in 40 years. They have their own bullion bank. He lives on a palatial estate with 113 beautiful acres in their own private lake teeming with fish just outside of Adelaide, Australia, some of the most expensive real estate in the world. And that's where he lives. And he's almost 90 years old. He's not trying to, hey, let's see if we can sell something I can you know, pay the rent. He is struggling with advanced Parkinson's and other issues. But you need to understand something. This man who came from uh, rags to riches, he came from a, 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 you know absolute poverty to riches. And one thing is he never wanted to forget his roots. And he said, I'm tired of seeing Christians be broke. He found out how to do it. He didn't get a lucky break. He didn't get you know discovered by Oprah or one of those kinds of things. That's not what happened. He learned how to do certain things, put them into practice, and became fabulously wealthy. And he was an illiterate bricklayer at age 26. Late in life, I think around 70 years of age, around there, he started to put these things that he learned in writing and put them into a program. And he's made them available. And it's been said that that program has made produce more millionaires on the planet than anything else that exists. Now think of this, if you were almost 90, months away from turning 90, and your hands are shaking from the Parkinson's, and your voice is feeble, and, and your recall is struggling, and you have other health issues, but you're living in a beautiful place, in need of nothing, would you get up and say, gee whiz, I wonder if I can do some work today? But Peter's heart beats for you and for me. He wants to help people. He says he's tired of seeing Christians broke. He said, you cannot guess your way to success. And so even though he's struggling with all that, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm. He, he contacted me about a month ago now and he offered the idea really, hey, do you want to do another interview? I said, are you serious? Are you up for this? And he thought about it and he is. But you have to understand his motivation is his heart beats to the just, I want to help people. They don't need to be broke. And he wants to tell them how. And so we did, what I did was I got, when I found out this, he was going to do this, he was open to it. And he said with three exclamation points, this will be my last, my final interview, period. Uh, it's getting very, very, very difficult. And I said, okay, I invited some friends to be part of that. I invited Myron Golden. Some of you know Myron. He's I've got a phenomenal story. And he's a great teacher. The Benham Brothers, amazing guys. I love those guys dearly. Oss Hillman, Patrice Segay with the Nehemiah Project, Joseph Peck, and Shane Sams. We, we, we're going to have some guys on this thing that are going to be asking Peter Daniels some questions and, and giving the answers. Now, let me let me tell you something. Because of his health, he didn't feel confident that he was going to be able to be live on the webinar and be on camera and deliver because he never knows how he's going to be one day to the next. So we pre-recorded the questions, six of us did, and sent them to him. And then he videoed the answers back. I got them uh, this weekend, a few days ago. We edited it together so we can, you know, see the back and forth of it. And we put the, we put the webinar together, but then catch this. Last night I asked, or yesterday, I asked Graham, who's about my age, that's Graham Daniels, Peter's son, one of his sons. I said, is there any chance your dad might be watching this tomorrow? I've just thought, sort of sitting in the background, just seeing it. He said, yes, my, me and my dad are going to watch it live tomorrow. So I want to say something to you. This is, the way I look at it, this is Peter Daniels last hurrah, his last gift to the body of Christ. He has gone to great pains and sacrifice to do this, gaining nothing, needing no gain at all, except for perhaps he's um, fixing up his mansion in heaven, <laughs> planning for that, I don't know. But, um, so I'm gonna ask you, if you, 
this is not like a standard marketing thing. Come and hear what the man said. Have your life changed by what you hear Thursday night. And then if you want to get his program, that's up to you. That's fine. But it's going to be absolutely the best thing. And I asked him if they would be live. And so what I want to do is this. Look, at this is, I, I'm making this request to you. If you're planning on coming, if you've registered for the webinar, please show up. Now, I, listen, I understand if you've got travel conflicts or schedules, you know, conflicts. I understand that. So no, no shame there. But a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'll register and I'll watch it at a time that's more convenient because I want to watch I Love Lucy or whatever it is. If that's your situation and you, you know, would you make the effort to be there live with me? Because he's going to be in the audience. And I so want to show him thousands of people expressing gratitude, just being there, recognizing and honoring this man for the life that he has led and the example he has given. So if you haven't already, go to my website, michaelpink.com slash PJD and register for it. And if you can't come live Thursday night, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, if you can't make it, then that's fine. There's no, no shame in that. Still register. You'll be able to catch uh, the replay we'll make available to people who aren't able to attend live. But if you can attend, if it's within your means to be able to do it, please be there because this is the one time that we're going to see all of us who come live will be in essence in front of Peter Daniels live. He won't be on camera. He'll be at home watching this with his dear precious wife Robina and his son Graham. They'll be watching live. But I just want to honor him. So if you would, if you can, It'd be great not only that you register, but to, that you, if you're able to, come live. If you can't, I'll make sure you get the replay as long as you register. All right, this is Michael Pink, over and out. Thank you guys for paying attention. Love you all.